Well, he was upright. He was capable of walking around quite successfully, as far as we can tell, on his lower limb, on two feet. He was probably, from the evidence that we have, fairly slim, relatively intelligent. I say relative. He was certainly much larger brained than Australopithecus. But we don't know how hint intelligent he was. We do know that at that time, more than two and a half million years ago, stone tools were being made. And as such, somebody must have been making them. And to make stone tools requires a degree of intelligence. And I don't think it would be uh, unnecessarily um, incautious to say that this fellow was making some stone tools at that time. Did he live in the water, or in caves, or in the trees? Well, he certainly didn't live in the caves, certainly didn't live in the trees, and he certainly didn't live in the water. Uh, he has found, the remains that we have got were found from a situation which suggests that he lived, this particular specimen, lived around the margin of a freshwater lake in northern Kenya. The habitat was probably open grassland with some forest nearby, lot of other animals living in the same area at the same time.